Hey, what's up everyone? I'm about to show you how to group your friends on Facebook and tell you why that's useful. Friends is a feature on Facebook that can be found on the left hand side of your home page and it can be really useful for specifying your privacy settings, chat groups, making special news feeds, or blocking your status updates from certain people. It's basically the same thing as the new Google Plus circles, except not as pretty or easily presented to you for use on Facebook like Google does for you here, by letting you just drag and drop pictures into the um, fun little circles. Anyway, let's just get to the first part, shall we? How to make and use Facebook friend lists. Sorry, your name's not on the list. You cannot get in. Ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway, to get started, you want to click on friends, um, and then you'll over here on the top right, you'll click on manage friend lists. And then you'll click on create a list. And then once that loads, you're going to want to create a new name for your list. Um, I suggest something like maybe family or friends or maybe work if you're trying to keep that on the DL. <laughs> um, also restricted is a good one for if you're playing games and you want to keep them separate, uh, people who play, you play games with. Um, but really it's whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. And then you pick the people you want in a specific list or group together. Um, you can also find them by searching for their name. And then when you're done you want to click on create list. Um, and then you have your list here and you can find it on the left and you'll have lots of them. I have one called Cityville. This is my game list. Um, we're going to work with whatever you want here. Um, so, And then you can also delete a list if you don't want it anymore. Friend list send your privacy. Now that I've shown you how to make a list, I'm going to show you how that's useful in your privacy settings to make them more specific. When you go down to Customize Settings, you'll see that you get a long list of all these different specific features that you can customize um, with a drop-down menu. And you can do friends only, you know, friends of friends, whatever, but we're going to do with Custom Edit. And you'll see that you have two options, something that you can make visible to or hide this from. So it's two different ways you can play it. So you want to say like, I only want to show this to these specific people, and then you can use your list. Type in your list. Um, and the reverse works, obviously, um, with hide this from, and you can say, I want to hide this from these specific people, and you can say work or whatever, restricted. Um, other places where you want to go use this is up top here in view settings. You can um, do this for um, making your you know your education and work not or only visible to certain people and um, also where you live which is kind of important I think. <laughs> One last thing I wanted to show you was here in customized settings. When you go down you can edit privacy settings for your photo albums and videos uh, which I like to do um, just for you know my wall photos or certain photo albums I might want to custom edit and hide them from work or family or friends uh, things like that or in restricted I like to hide them from everyone <laughs> but uh, yeah that's that for your privacy settings friend lists and your status <laughs> I'm on your Facebook's changing your status to taking a poop using lists can help make your status updates more personal First, click on the lock icon and then choose Customize. You can specify to hide the post from specific people, or you can choose one of your lists. You can also make the post only visible to specific people or groups. Another thing this is useful for is if you play Facebook games like Cityville. When you go to Cityville and click on something to request an item, a status update box pops up. What you want to do is click on the lock icon to customize your post so only a specific list can see it. You can also make that setting a default setting if it's an option you make often so you don't have to go in and do this every time you make a post. The last thing I want to suggest to use for with this is to use Facebook as your own personal diary. You can make updates visible so that only you can see them and in this way you can record everything you want but still keep it all to yourself. Friend lists and your newsfeed. Stalker Cat loves staring at your newsfeed. Now I'm going to show you how you can make your newsfeed way more awesome sauce using lists. When you click on most recent, you will notice an arrow that you can click on, which makes a drop down box appear, and at the bottom you will see two of your lists, which you can expand by clicking choose another. When you click on one of your lists, it brings up a feed from only the people on that list. 
I made a list called A Feed, which I included my favorite companies like Crack.com and Mashable. It starts with A so that it will be at the top of the list, and I won't have to click Choose Another to get to it. It'll just be there right when I click down. One last thing I want to mention since I'm here is when you go to edit options, by default Facebook is selectively choosing which friends it thinks you want to see updates from. You may want to change it to all your friends just in case you didn't know that. Friend lists and your chat. Please pick up more cheeseburgers. Okay, thanks, bye. The last thing I will show you is how to use your list with your chats. I haven't gotten the fun new chat bar yet or the ability to do group chat, but I assume the using lists will only help with that too. So using lists with your chat is pretty self-explanatory at this point, but having the lists will help organize your friends so you can see who is on to talk to quicker. You can also customize your chat experience by going up to the top, and you can also create lists real quick right here doing that. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something and that I was able to show you uh, how to better customize your Facebook experience. Thanks for watching. Bye.